So if you're overusing reverb and getting a super soupy mix, let me tell you, your mix only really needs three reverbs. Let me explain this. So you want all your reverbs to be sent to a bus, meaning you send a copy of the signal to it, you don't put the reverb directly on the track because you're gonna have more control and you'll find you'll be able to reuse the same reverb more. So the first one is a vocal reverb. Typically, I'll find a vocal reverb that I really like, like a plate or a hall or something like that. Kinda like the long reverb since this is an emo rap song. I'll usually like, you know, EQ it, tailor it to the song, fuck you Pro Tools, EQ the reverb so that it's just in the mid-range. I'll cut everything below 200 in most cases and then above 7k. Second one is the drum reverb. So I will set up a reverb that the snare is being sent to, sometimes the hi-hats, but in most cases, honestly, most cases just the snare. This one I will be pickier about the time, I'll try to make it so that the reverb decays and ends right around the time that the next snare hit happens. This reverb is crucial because it adds space to the mix and the drums overall. The last reverb is a reverb for all the instruments. I've actually shot out a bunch of reverbs. I found that this one works really well on pretty much anything. It's just like a hall in this case. You may want some things to have more reverb than others, so you would adjust that in the actual send itself. So to review, one for vocals, one for drums, and then one for instruments. And then after that, you are set. Follow for more tips, DM for coaching, mixing, or production.